this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving geometric progression with the Casio FS901 ES class width calculator or the Casio FS570 ES class width calculator, the black one and not the white one of FS901 ES plus. Now, after going through this video, you will be able to solve problems involving geometric progression with the Casio FS901 ES class risk calculator. So ensure you stay with me till the end of this video, guys, because you are going to learn a lot. You will learn something that will help you in the long run. Okay, so before we get the Casio calculator and go into the details of the video, let's look at the question we have here and see what we are asked to solve okay the question says the first term of a geometric progression is seven and the fifth term is 567 find a the third term b the eighth term c the common ratio d the nth term if the nth term is 1701 and lastly some of the first 10 terms okay guys very very simple with the castle calculator let's bring it now and go straight into solving each and every one of them okay so guys this is the castle calculator the class with Casio fs and our es class with calculator now the very first thing you have to do is declare a calculator very very important guys if you have watched some of my videos before you will get to know that i often say this that you should be clearing your calculator the essence of doing that is to put your calculator in default mode because if i not remember whether you might have stored or put your calculator in different mode before so to avoid unnecessary doubt you are advised to clear your calculator so that you will not get to be seen unnecessary error or unnecessary values in the course of solving your current calculations okay guys having known that for those of you that might not know how to do it to clear I simply press shift but now for the instruction press option three initialize all so you press three okay then equal to stands for yes then I press equal to then we are asked to press ST key but I always choose to press equal to again the same thing so right now the calculator has been cleared we can we clear the calculator the next thing you have to do now is to put your calculator in the mode that we enable us to solve geometric progression and the mode that we enable us to do it is usually statistics mode guys so to put it in statistics mode you go to this menu then look for statistics this is five vector so statistics is yeah this calculator is what option six so you press this button six okay guys very very important when you get to here now you need to move down you press this downward key once you press this downward key you see these values you come and press two this is for geometric progression guys arithmetic progression has its own but this one is specifically for geometric progression you press two okay now when you press it to bring it to this place so you have to impute the respective values for x and y now your x values will be the terms okay we have first term and fifth term in this question so we we'll begin with first term first we'll call it to enter then go down press the next term sorry guys so you press five and it will enter first we'll call two. so go over to y very simple guys now the y will be the value of the respective terms like in this question we have two terms so the value of the first term in this question let's check it guys the value of the first term is what seven so you put seven here you put seven okay the value of the fifth term is what 567 first of all it's enter very important guys now note that as you are imputing the values on the calculator the calculator is storing them automatically so having known that the calculator has stored these values as 
you are imputing them not, not that you are done imputing okay so we can simply wipe them out like pressing ac key and begin to find what we are asked to find so let's press ac key having known that the calculator has already stored these values so no need to be scared or panic guys so let's wipe these out okay so once i wipe them out it will, it will show this thing on the calculator now this is very important guys very technical but very simple now to find the the number of time in this calculator like option a we asked to find the third time option b the eighth time very, very simple guy so to find number of time look at how you're going to do it so since we asked to find the third time let's use option with question the a question so to find the third time you press the number first third time that's three then come here and press option follow me guys press option now when you press option it will bring you to this place you use this downwards key go down and you see this option for regression press for regression now when you press for it will bring you to this place now look at the symbol you're going to work with to get the 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 time you are looking for is option five guys so i'm going to press five here so once you press it this is what we're going to have you are good to go now press equal to as as i press equal to now you're going to see the answer so let's press equal to now okay so as you can see 63 63 is what the third time now for the eighth time same thing all you simply have to do is to come and just press this button go to display move this three delete it and put eight and get the eighth time that's simple as that guys the eight time here is what we have it to be fifteen thousand three hundred and nine very simple guys though we already have no the first the first time we are is seven if we still want to verify it just simply remove this eight and put one and you still see seven seven if you want to check the fifth time it will just show you though the fifth time is already there this will show you that this is correct this is very very accurate guy 567 as you can see so that's how to find number of time okay guys what if you want to find the common ratio very, very simple guys to find a common ratio all you simply have to do is to okay let me say since we have two times here and we have the first time to be seven and the fifth time to be 567 now guys to find the common ratio very, very simple let me just show you now if you are counting values after one the next number you see is what well, is two so just remove this five and put two but after the first time the next time you see is two first two then come over to display and put divide because the common ratio ratio is about division guys ratio is about division so come here and put division sign divide now what about the first time in this question is seven first of all to see the common ratio guy three is so it that I do it this way or let's go back? Which on that way? Very, very simple, guy. Now, we have the fifth time here. The fifth time here is 567. Now, after five, what are you going to see next is what six. That is the sixth time. It moves this two and put six. Now, what the value of the fifth time here, which is 567. 567, guys. Very, very simple. You still get three as the common ratio. This will show that it's, it's working very, very well. Okay, so guys, either way we work, you get the right result. Just anyone you want to use, either you, you make use of the number after the first time and what the value of the first time is in the question, or you make use of the number after the fifth time and what the number in the fifth time is the question. Depends on the question I'm giving, guys. So this is just illustrative. So just replicate it on a particular question you are asked. Uh, you get the same result hope you are following me very, very simple guys okay that's for common ratio guys before you stop for end time if you are just new to our channel ensure you subscribe to our channel now by hitting the subscribe button for more of our videos also like this video give it a thumbs up guys this is eagles class oh it's basically here in eagles class that we help young scholars like you with tips and other necessary information that we help to simplify academic problems for you so if you saw tips and necessary information interest you 
you will love to be getting getting them directly from us be sure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to our channel to stay connected with us guys very important so having known that let's find the end time find the end time we say the end time the end time if the end time is one thousand seven and nine one one thousand seven hundred and one guys okay very simple to find an end time all you still have to do is to press this number one thousand seven hundred and one then you go back to option come down regression option four don't forget guys now to find the end time you go with this symbol on that option four don't use this five this symbol that five press four so you, you see the end time now press equal to end time let's see what you're going to give us six so guys the end time is what six now to because this six now is the end time because it's very, very simple guy this it sees the end time okay let me just show you something now this this is very very interesting okay let me say they say that six is the end time okay let's 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 put six here now go back to option go to regression four then this analysis option five and press record you see that we get back to this value 1701 very, very simple guy interesting you see 1701 so guys this is how to find end time now last news got how to find some of the of, of, of the geometric progression like in this question we asked to find some of the first 10 times very simple guys this is very very interesting and easy if you understand how it works very, very simple guys hope you are following now to find the some of the first 10 times in this question all you have to do remember in your statistics when you talk about when you want to do summation we usually make use of sigma in statistics. Hope you, hope you can remember your statistics, guys. So to do that, bring out sigma in this calculator. All you simply have to do is press shift, then this button, sigma will come out. This is sigma. Then in this bracket, put x, alpha x, bring out x, press alpha and what x to come out. Then you just go back to option and bring out the same under five. Then go to regression four. Then use this symbol number five. Then put comma to so bring a comma. This calculator you press shift this button to come out. So they say some of the first ten times. First ten times you have to put one first. Put separate with comma. Shift this comma out and ten. It's as, it's as simple as that, guys. We are good to get, close the brackets and press the to see the sum. Very, very simple, guys. What is sum? Okay, twenty two hundred and six thousand six hundred and sixty-eight. Very, very simple, guys. So this is how you find the sum. And then we are asked to find some of the first, let's say nine times. You put move down, put nine. First of all, two and two show. If you, are, if you are asked to find some of the first, let's say fifteen times, just move nine in this order in this sequence, guys. The answer we show. So this is basically how you can use this Casio FS number one ES last week's calculator to find whatever term, end term, sum, common ratio of geometric progression. So guys, with this, we are come to the end of this class. I hope you learned something interesting. Once more, if you are new to our channel, ensure you are subscribed to our channel by hitting the subscribe button for more of our videos. If you have not subscribed yet. Also like, share, and comment on this video to tell me how you feel regarding what you have just learned in this class. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask, feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and I will ensure to give you a response. That's it for this class guys. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to click the calculator once you are done. Press shift button 9. Put instruction. Initialize all press story. Press record and press record again. Now the calculator is cleared. That is for this class. Thanks for watching once more.